All right, we're going to do 4-4-A, and this is the last lesson of the chapter. Um, you have two more things to find derivatives of, so exponentials and logs. So we're going to do derivatives of exponentials today. Um, yes. That one was a tough lesson. Derivatives of exponential functions. Okay, exponential functions are not polynomials. Like y equals x squared is not an exponential function. Exponential functions have the exponent is the variable. Everyone knows that? It's like an exponential function looks like this. Okay. All right, so we're going to do derivatives of that. Um, here we go. First, let's do exponentials with base e. Base e. Now, this is pretty exciting. Um, if you have f of x is equal to e to the x, e to the x, uh, you can graph that. It's just a basic exponential function, exponential growth. Um, when you take the derivative of it, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. It's the only function that its derivative is its exact same thing. Isn't that exciting? You can even graph it. Like you can graph y equals e to the x, and then on y2, graph the derivative of y1, and it'll be the same graph. All right, so how does it get exciting? Well, they like to make you do chain rule a lot on these, okay? So if you have something like the function e to the u, where u is a different function of x, then what you have to do is you would take the derivative and the derivative would look like this. The derivative e to the u is going to be itself, just like e to the x, the derivative e to the x is, is itself, and then times u prime. So that's really what you're going to do. You're using chain rule. So you're taking the derivative of e to the x, which is going to be itself, and then times the derivative of that function. So it's just, it's just simple chain rule. So I'd rather you know that than the other one. All right, so let's do some. Here we go. Number one, just find the derivative. Here we go. So y equals e to the 4x. So there's two functions going on here. There's the outer function, which is e to the stuff. And then there's the inner function, which is 4x. So you have to do chain rule. So then the derivative of the e to the 4x would just be itself, leaving the inner function alone. And then times the derivative of 4x, which is 4. Perfect. And we usually write this as 4e to the 4x. And that would be the derivative. It's slight. Is that what you just said? That's like the word this year, huh? It's slight. No? Really? Oh, then you're lucky. Number two. All right, here we go. y equals e to the sine x. Now we get to mix them all in, because you know how to take the derivative of all the stuffs now. So here we go. Once again, this is chain rule. So we'll take the derivative of e to the whatever, just leaving it alone. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So you leave it exactly as is, and then times the derivative of sine x, which is cosine x. Very good. And that's it. Yeah, and then times 1. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to do that, but you're right. Sign 2x. Let's do that. Yes. <laughs> Number 3. y equals e to the tangent of x squared. Ooh. Now we have three functions, right? We've got the e function, we've got the tangent, and we have x squared. We have all of them. So we're going to have to do chain rule a couple of times. So start by taking the derivative of the outside function, which is e to the whatever, and just e to the stuff is just itself. The derivative is itself. And then times the derivative of tangent of x squared. Now be careful, we're doing chain rule again. So we have to take the derivative of just the tangent part, leaving that inside function alone. So what's the derivative of tangent? Secant so squared, good, of x squared. Leave that by itself. Don't do deri multiple derivatives at the same time. And then finally, times 2x. So is it secant x squared? No. Nope. It's actually secant of x squared, and the whole thing is squared. It's not like x squared is being squared. 
then that's it. And you can rearrange that stuff and rewrite with the 2x in front and all that good stuff. OK, um, how about, ooh, here's one, number four. Uh, y equals x times e to the x plus 2x squared. Not it's not, it's down the hallway. Really? Yes. Yeah. Wow, this is crazy rain, huh? Okay, here we go. Derivative. I have my card detailed. Yeah, it's true, it's so clean. All right, um, is something shouting at you right now besides? Trevor is shouting at me. There's no chain rule on this one. Product rule. Yes. Oh, that's what I meant. That's what I is that what you meant? Wait, what's chain rule? Chain rule is like taking the derivative of inner functions and outer functions. <laughs> She's in the rain. She was totally waving to you, but I waved because I wasn't sure. Okay, here we go. We're going to do product rule. A, B plus B, A, B prime. There you go. All right, so this X is A and E to the X is B. So we're going to go A, times b prime. And what's the derivative of e to the x? Yeah. e to the x. Plus b yeah. times a prime, 1. And then plus 4x. And that's it. And there's nothing to do. There's no simplifying. So uh, nope. 4x. There you go. That's it. So where does it get hard? Uh, ooh. It's coming up. All right. All right. A couple more of these, and then we'll move on to the next part. Number five. How about y equals e to the 1 over x? e to the 1 over x. Um, OK. So this is going to be chain rule. Wow. I love that sound. I love that sound. That parking lot is going to be flooded. Don't go out that way. Yeah. Did you guys hear that? Like, when you leave, car, don't, go, don't go out that way. It's go this way. I live so that way. <laughs> I know. I do too. I'm gonna go out this way. Yeah. I'm actually gonna go around too. Like take Studebaker. Okay. Here we go. So let's do y prime. Yeah. Oh, I know. That was bad this morning. Okay. So we're gonna do. We're gonna do um, chain rule. So first, take the. Uh-huh, e to the 1 over x, so itself, and then times the derivative of 1 over x, which we've already done today. X to the negative 2. Yes, rewrite it negative as... Negative x to the negative 2. Perfect. Yeah. So bring down the negative 1, and then subtract 1 off. Can we leave negative um, No, you want to drop that down. Okay. So you get negative 1 over x squared, and so then just fix it up a little bit. So your answer would be negative e to the 1 over x over x squared. Nice. All right. Um, do I have one more? Yes. One more of these, and then we'll move on. Number six. Y equals e to the fifth x. Now, this one's there to, like, mess with your brain. So many people want to do product rule. You don't need product rule. So many people want to take this 5 down and subtract 1. You're not going to do that either. What is e to the fifth? It's a constant. So what's the derivative of a constant? The answer is e to the fifth. It would be 0 if there was no x there. You're right. But it's e to the fifth times x. And so it's just a constant in front of x. The answer is the constant. It's there to mess with you, though. OK, now, what if it's any base? Any base instead of e. So e's been the base so far. So let's do some uh, with any base a. Crazy. <laughs> All right, so then the derivative. Like 9 to the x or, yeah, 3 to the x, whatever. 
So then y prime would be to do this. It's going to be itself, again, just like e is, but then it's going to be times the natural log of a. <coughs> Bless you. And this actually works for e to the x. Because what would it be? It would be e to the x times Lenny, and Lenny's 1. Mm -hmm. um, so if x was not x, if x was some other function, so like if you had f of x equals a to the u, and you were going to take the derivative of that, using chain rule, it would be itself natural log of a and then times u prime. Okay, so that's just putting the chain rule into it. Derivative of, of the u. So then that has to be added to the top, right? Um, it's just like when you had e to the 2x and you had to take the derivative of the 2x. So all you're adding is like the natural log yeah. of the base. Yes, yeah. that's the only thing that's different. So then shouldn't that be in like the top formula that you put, like times x prime? Up here? Yeah, but x is just x here. This is just your basic. u is now replaced with some function of x, and so you do u prime. Yeah, it's just a different way to write it. All right, so number seven. Let's do some. Here we go. Let's do y equals 5 to the sine x. So it's a lot like e to the sine x, which we did already, but it's, it's a different base, and so you just really just tack on that natural log part. Okay? All right, so here we go. Y prime. So it's going to be itself 5 to the sine x times the natural log of 5. Do we have to know that or just can you write ln 5? Ln 5, yeah. Yeah, and you don't, you don't want to put that as a decimal. Just write it as natural log of 5. And then times the derivative of cosine, which is cosine. Perfect. Okay? Usually they'll move the natural log of 5 out to the front. You don't really need to. It's fine that way. All right, so let's do number 8. Like that yeah. Yep, totally. How about this one? y equals pi to the x. Pi is a number. Okay, it's not base e. It's, it's base a. But it's the same idea. And this one's actually not chain rule because it's just x. So the derivative would be, this one's not too bad, right? It would be itself, pi to the x, but since it's not base e, we have to do natural log of pi. Times 1, yeah. Yep. Okay, um, number 9. So many, huh? Yeah. How about this one? y equals 7 to the negative x. You want to try this one? Yeah. Okay. You try it. And I've got one more for you, and that'll be it. Y prime equals negative x, ln 7, and then? Yes! Times negative 1. Don't forget that negative 1. So you could move that to the front if you wanted to, and blah, blah, blah. All right, last one. Yeah, tomorrow goes. Y equals 10 to the e. That's weird. We haven't had math. I don't think I've ever had math. I have. Oh, I've never had math. On a Thursday? I hate because you have more. Oh, yeah. We had it second period, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Y prime. What's the answer? Um, it's the constant. The range will be stopped. So zero. Yes! Very good. All right. Make sure that when you do these, you guys, you look at the problem. This is just a constant. 10 to the e. 10 is a number. E is a number. It's just a number. I know. E is not a variable. It's a number. It's a number.